Does your workday grind leave you downtrodden and empty? Are you feeling anxious about the coming holiday to the point where you're unsure you can cope? And does it all make you want to go super sane on the whole world? Hold on, wait a minute, take a chill pill. Essay here, and when I'm not sound like a complete ignoramus on the computer, I'm also a published author, and I have a deal for you. Don't miss out on the thrilling and captivating American book series, Glitch. This one-of-a-kind series combines literary fiction and crime, creating an adrenaline-fueled adventure to keep you on the edge of your seat. Available now on Kindle or paperback. Grab your copy today at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or your local bookstore. You won't regret it. The links are below in the description. And I'm not some one-hit wonder either. I got other books coming down the pike. So if I don't lose my mind and do something crazy... Nation, Lois. <laughs> For a minute there, you almost had me convinced. For a minute. Bye-bye, baby. Uh, no. oh, oh. You'll see those books soon enough. Now let's get back to the video. Hello again. Essay here. Uh, this is going to be a really short video. And uh, it's about hoes. And no, I ain't talking about the kind used for gardening. No, I'm talking about the two legged variety who tend to promulgate in nightclubs and have wear way too much makeup, have too much perfume on, and tend to be really, really. Sleazy? Yeah. Now you say, so what about hoes? Yeah, well, back in the past, you used to call them gold diggers, but whatever. Well, apparently, uh, people, at least in our neck of the woods, discovered that they have hoes outside of America, namely in England, namely in Manchester. Except in there, they call them wags. What does that stand for? Women and girlfriends of <coughs> sorry of footballers. And no, I ain't talking about NFL footballers. No, 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 no. I'm talking about English footballers. Uh, namely, like Manchester United. Now you say, so what? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's kind of sad when you think about it. Because these videos are out there, you can find them. Just type in Manchester and WAG, and you'll see them. Lots of them. And it's, it's sad. It is really sad. Because when you look at the videos, most of those women don't look like much. I mean, take off the little outfits and the high shoes. These, most of these women look like damn housewives. And I mean frumpy housewives. I mean, nah. Ain't no uh, damn uh, Scott Johansson amongst them. <laughs> Jesus. And that sounds sad. And then you say, why is this a Manchester phenomenon? Because apparently, according to uh, Paul Joseph Watson, yeah, that goofy guy, these, these women tend to uh, hang out at nightclubs where these footballers tend to hang out at. Trying to hook a man. Why? Obviously, get a meal ticket. Most of these footballers tend to be doing very well. They get paid very good money. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but when I look at this, I just look at it. It's, it's just sad. It's really sad. Now, of course, you say, but they've been the uh, hoes and gold diggers been around since the days of Jezebel, you know, from the Bible. And I agree. I agree. But at least Jezebel had a little class about her. I mean, I think she was a princess at first. And she wasn't so you know, blatantly um, whorish. It was only after she married the king of Israel that things went kind of off the rails. But enough about that. But when you see this stuff on the computer, it's just sad. Because back when I was a young man, I see hoes all the time. Uh, in grade school, yeah, no joke. 
never talk to those women because they just look like, you know, trash. You know, they wore too much makeup. Uh, they wore these really flimsy outfits, wore booty shorts, wore fucking high heels, and like in, in, in uh, high school. I mean, like, I thought that was kind of odd. And uh, they just they just came off looking like whores. So I didn't bother with them. Hmm. And of course, nowadays, you, you go hanging out at some of these nightclubs in the here and now. Oh my God, you're under too many of them. <laughs> now, of course, some of these feminists say, oh, but a woman, she's just uh, t taking the state, you know, making a claim. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no, putting, her, uh, in other words, uh, standing up for herself. You know, what's that, like that old song, uh, I am woman, hear me roar? Yeah, right. But when you look at this stuff, it's just sad because these women, you know, these wags, their chances of hooking up with some damn footballer and, you know, getting, uh, you know, a piece of their, you know, pocket change. I mean, they got a better shot just buying a lottery ticket. Yeah, that's right. And indeed, these women... If they had any common sense and any uh, self-respect, they wouldn't do that. Instead, what they should do is focus on themselves. In other words, get rid of the crazy outfits and the stilettos and everything. And Okay, you can probably maintain your makeup, I suppose, but not so much, okay? Don't put all that Maybelline on your face with a shovel. I mean, it looks, it looks grotesque. And uh, go out and get yourself an education. And please, no gender studies degrees, please. I mean, that that's a waste of your time. You know, you know, get a, a law degree, or perhaps, uh, or perhaps if you're not into that, you can uh, get a, a position uh, being a welder. And you say, woman as a welder? Yeah, it's not that hard. I mean, all you have to do is just, uh, you know, if you like doing arc welding, just simply, uh, you know, put the electro electrodes on a piece of metal and then get the, the probe and then just do that. Because those people get paid excellent money. How much money? Well, last time I checked, it was somewhere between 50 and 100 bucks an hour. No bullshit. Yeah. Welders get paid good money. <coughs> Sorry. And believe me, if you're a single woman, about 22, 23 years old, and you get to, uh, uh, go to a, um, a uh, trade school and get yourself a degree in welding, man, you'll be rolling in six figures in no time. And if you're clever, if you're smart, you can take some of that money and invest it like in Bitcoin, whatever, and whatever, uh, or, uh, or T-bills, whatever, or Roth IRAs. And by the time you're ready for retirement, man, you'll be set for life. I mean, leave the damn uh, stupid, uh, uh, damn uh, Social Security for uh, your underlings. Because the way a lot of these hoes are doing right now, or these wags, they're wasting their time. Because more likely than not, what they'll probably do is they'll hook up with someone who's probably not a footballer. And they probably didn't do their due diligence and didn't you know have birth control, end up getting pregnant, and then have a kid on the side. And then they'll say, oh shit. Because I've seen this too many times where these hoes would think they're trying to hook a man, they think they got some money by getting pregnant deliberately, only for the guy basically to you know, go out the back door and the woman there sees him again. Says, yeah, babe, I'm going out for a pack of smokes. And that was the last time the woman saw him and that was like 20 years ago. Yeah, that happens a lot. So if you're a wag or a hoe watching this video, just stop what you're doing. Because you're going to end up waking up one day, 60 years old, old, fat, and alcoholic, 
with a probably one or two what not kids that from two different guys you got knocked up with trying to hook them and they walked out on you <coughs> sorry <coughs> And that's and that's and that's going to be uh, the sum total of your life. Yeah. So women, if you're acting like a hoe right now, don't do it. Just stop. Go out, get your education, make some money, and if you're if you're clever, invest that money, like in Burchett Hathaway, you know Warren Buffett's company, and turn those hundreds of thousands of dollars into millions of dollars. And they won't need to be putting on all your, putting on your war paint on and putting on your damn uh, uh, crazy uh, uh, outfits and going out trying to hook some rich guy or hook up some, hook, uh, hook some damn uh, footballer who don't, who's just looking to, you know, to, to dip his wick as he used to say back in my father's day. Because you're just wasting your time. You truly are. You're wasting your time because my mother once told me, you know, talking about men, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? You know what that means? It means why marry the hoe if you can have sex with her for free? Yeah, that's right. Now, some of these hoes you see on the damn computer will say, oh, I want some guy to spend like a few hundred dollars on me or a few thousand dollars. But well, guess what? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Oh, you'll be putting, you'll be, you, you'll be the man and the guy be no lavish you. But he ain't going to do it. Especially if some damn next hoe says, hey, I'll open my legs for you just to give me, if you get, if you buy my drinks for me. And he'll say, well, I'll, I'll hang out with her. I'm not going to give you $2,000 of my money. I'm going to hang with this damn hoe, uh, pay her drinks, probably cost me a hundred bucks, and then I'm going to go in the back, uh, over in the back, uh, in, in the bathroom, in the, in the damn toilet stall, and, and, uh, and, and ram around her, uh, lickety split. So yeah, women, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Because uh, I can't tell you too many examples of these hoes who hooked up with too many men and left with too many babies on the side. I'm not going to mention any names. I don't want to embarrass them. But I know two examples. Acquaintances of our family who did that. They are basically trying to hold themselves, trying to hook some man. All they have to do was getting like three or four kids by three different, four different guys. And they're sitting there on damn uh, fucking uh, welfare and food stamps because they can't even go out and get a proper job because they got these damn kids in the damn uh, uh, in the house uh, they need to feed and clothe them all the time. It's sad. It's pathetic. So don't be like that, okay? Stop being a wag. Stop being a hoe. Get education. Make your own money. And believe me, when you're old and 60 years old, you'll be better off for it. Unless, of course, you find a good man to marry. And that can happen, too. But you need to, but, but right now, when you're young and in your 20s, right out of high school, and if you haven't gone to university yet, you got to watch out for yourself. Because most of these guys out there don't give a damn about you. They just want they want to get between your legs and that's it. As long as you know that, you'll be better off for it. And if some of you women who are, uh, well, let's just say this, um, horny, please use some birth control. Just use some birth control. Okay, well, that's all I'm going to say about wags and hoes. And that's my opinion.